In December this year, NASA plans to launch the massive $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope, which is hailed as the successor to the aging Hubble Space Telescope. The much-anticipated, game-changing addition to the pantheon of space telescopes, the James Webb Space Telescope is finally about to make a massive splash. A welcome change from the waves its often delayed launch and rising cost have created. In September, NASA announced that Webb's launch would be moved from November to December. The telescope's launch has been postponed for a decade now, and the project's cost has increased by about $9 billion. Many scientists believe Webb is worth the money and the wait, despite lawmakers and academics' concerns that the project is siphoning funds from other research fields. Webb's design was inspired by the Hubble Space Telescope, a 31-year-old observatory famous for taking beautiful photographs of our universe's galaxies. But it picks up where its predecessor leaves off. So far, no telescope compares to Webb. The new observatory, which will launch from northern French Guiana near the equator, is a collaborative project that involves the US, European, and Canadian space agencies. When you see Webb go into space, you can see the full force of human ingenuity at work, as well as a variety of disciplines that drive it to space. The new telescope, the largest and most powerful ever launched into space, will travel one million miles from Earth to a remote location where it will be able to see into the farthest reaches of the universe. However, Webb has several significant differences that will influence the types of science it can do and the photos it can send home. It has a primary mirror that is 21 feet broad and covered in gold, making it much larger than Hubble's mirror. As a result, Webb will be able to capture significantly more light and see far more distant galaxies. Its huge diameter would offer it almost seven times the collecting area of the current generation of space telescope mirrors. Webb will have a much wider field of view than Hubble's camera and much better spatial resolution than the infrared Spitzer Space Telescope. Light takes time to travel through space and Webb will be able to capture light that has been traveling since the universe existed. It will see galaxies as they looked a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The telescope can do this because it is designed to observe light in the near to mid infrared spectrum, which is invisible to humans. Hubble Telescope, on the other hand, focuses on optical light that human eyes can see. Looking through infrared has two benefits. One is that the web can observe much more distant and older objects. It will see the very earliest stars and galaxies. Another benefit is that the telescope can see through dust clouds. The small cloud particles block visible light from passing through. With our eyes, we can't see through them, just as we can't see any stars on a cloudy night here. Neither can the Hubble Space Telescope. However, because infrared light is less affected, scientists will be able to penetrate and look past these dust clouds with the James Webb Telescope, not just to see what is behind them, but also to get a more detailed look at the formation of stars and planets. The Webb Telescope will also help scientists look for signs of life on Earth-sized planets and other solar systems by allowing them to examine the tiny amount of starlight that passes through those planets' atmospheres. Exoplanet scientists will utilize Webb to study the atmosphere of these worlds. Some of the substances in their atmospheres can be determined by Webb. Scientists can detect water, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and methane using this telescope. While these aren't definitive signs of life on their own, they raise intriguing questions like, what caused the methane and carbon dioxide to be produced? Is it possible that there was life? We all want to find another planet, don't we? 
Is it possible to answer the question, are we alone? For centuries, we've been asking ourselves this question, and scientists believe that with James Webb, we will get our first chance to answer that question fully. If all goes according to plan, these kinds of observations could be made in a matter of months or years. The countdown is about to start for astronomers all across the world. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.